just entered the park through the El Zaino entrance in Tirona and we got off the bus here. They pretty much just stop anywhere you tell them to stop. You can come here from either Cartagena or Santa Marta or a few other cities. And now we're just walking down this path. It's much colder than anywhere else we've been in Colombia so far. And we're making our way to the place we're staying. Also, just a heads up, the park closes a few times throughout the year for about a month's time. And I'll let you know those times a bit later on in this video. <laughs> can't enter the park anymore every day after 3 p.m. so make sure you get here before then also you have to leave the park by 6 p.m. if you're not staying the night but if you are then you're fine you can stay here as long as you want this whole time we've just had a dog following us and escorting us everywhere we're going just to make sure we're safe and one time this motorcycle just drove past and the dog just started attacking the motorcycle <laughs> actually the place that inspired me to come to Colombia. I saw a bunch of photos of Cabo San Juan which is the beach we're gonna go to tomorrow and it was just so beautiful. Also we weren't sure what we should do with our bags so there's a couple options where you can get a hammock or a tent on the beach but we just decided to get a hostel. It just seems like she's waiting for us to give her a tip. <laughs> Once you're in the park, getting around it is pretty simple. It's just one main path that goes along the entire park and you can either take a bus to the main parking, which is only about 5,000 Colombian pesos, or you can just walk down the road and go to whichever beach you want from the road. There's paths when you can just get off on each street and those will take you to any beach that you want. This place is really amazing. It just sounds like a jungle and it feels like you're in a jungle everywhere you walk. It's just so beautiful, so nice and peaceful. So I know there are poisonous dart frogs here and I'm pretty sure that right there is one of them. And the thing about these frogs is that if you touch them, your heart will stop and it's very fatal. These are one of the most poisonous animals on earth. Right now we're just walking to Yache restaurant for dinner and we're gonna try it out. It's the only one near us and we're gonna see what it's like. The food at this place was actually really good. I would actually recommend this place. It's cheaper than most Tairona places from what I've heard. The price was better than the ones we had in Cartagena and the food was actually really good. So this is just a little room tour. Here we got our tea cooking. Here we got our hot tub. That's actually cold water. Nice little bed. And then this is the whole hut. This is the bathroom. There's not really much you can do here once it gets dark. A lot of mosquitoes come out and there's a lot of other animals here that you have to watch out for. So people usually just go to restaurants and they get back to wherever they're staying. That's what we did. We're just back in our home now and we're getting ready for a really big day tomorrow. Nice early morning here. It's about 7 a.m and we're about to go have breakfast with EcoHabs because they offer us a free breakfast. We just had a really delicious breakfast. The arepas were amazing. The papaya was amazing. Now we're making our way towards Cabo San Juan on the beach. The sounds of all the bugs, all the birds, all the animals just sound really great. We're walking down the main road right from the parking which is taking us all the way to Cabo San Juan. It's about two hours and 30 minutes from here. We just saw so many monkeys. They are all gathered up in one group and they're just right around us. It was such a nice sight to see. which is just a nice little lookout spot you get to overlook the rocks but you can't swim there the first beach here we get to stop at 
is Playa Arrecifes. That's what it looks like, at least from Google Maps. It's just a really nice beach, though you can't swim here. It's just a really nice lookout with the rocks surrounding and the water. Definitely when you're here, bring some shoes that you wouldn't mind getting muddy because you will get really muddy here. There's so many mud puddles everywhere. A good shoe we've seen a lot of uh, locals wearing is water shoes. They seem to be very sturdy and good for all the rocks that you're gonna be climbing. Looks like my socks are about to get wet. Here's when the luck runs out and you just have to go straight through the water get everything wet. When I said bring shoes that you don't care about getting money, just bring water shoes because they get way too muddy anyways. In terms of the hike, it's fairly simple. It's pretty long, but just be prepared to get really dirty. It's not too hot, but there's a lot of humidity, so it feels really hot and you get so sweaty really quick. We just passed by La Piscina, which is the next beach. It's supposed to be the second nicest one here. We're gonna go to it later. We're gonna check out all of them later. But at first we're heading to Cabo San Juan, which is the beach that's the furthest away. And it's also supposed to be the nicest one. Half this entire way from La Piscina to Cabo San Juan has been super muddy. You really have to watch out everywhere you're stepping. It was so funny. At the beginning, we were like, wow, South American hikes. This is such a nice jungle. We were so excited walking around. And now we're just like, okay, Covered walking through mud. the mud. When are we going to get there? I think it went pretty well. We're finally here takes about three hours from where we were, which is only about 15 minutes away from the entrance. So from the entrance, about a three hour hike, if you include the bus that takes you to the parking. So now this is Cabo San Juan Beach. It's the most famous beach here and the one that everyone sees on the photos. It honestly looks so stunning and we're excited to go swim and just have a great time here. The hike is definitely pretty tiring. It's draining from that part from La Piscina to Cabo San Juan. But when you get here, it's honestly just so beautiful. So this park is actually closed three times throughout the year in February, in June, and in November to either help restore the ecosystem after the busy tourist seasons or help prepare for them. Definitely keep that in mind when you're coming here so that you don't get disappointed. Another way you can actually get here to avoid the hike is taking a horse and it takes you all the way here and you don't have to get dirty in all that mud. supposed to be one more beach after Cabo San Juan that's much prettier and also has much less people but it is a really muddy walk that we just didn't want to do right now and also just because of time because we have to head somewhere else soon the beach starts to get really crowded at around 12 so I recommend leaving probably the latest at 8 to get a bit of time for yourself but now we're on our way back from Cabo San Juan, heading to La Piscina. We just ate at the main restaurant here at Cabo San Juan, which actually has some really good food. It is a bit expensive, but that's what you get here in Tayrona. It's still cheaper than Cartagena, but now we're making our way back and hopefully we're gonna stop at La Piscina as well. Now it's time to get our feet very muddy again. We just made it now to Playa La Piscina. It looks like a really nice beach. There's not too many people here. It's also a bit past three, so that might be why. I feel like if you wanna go here to swim, 
then I would definitely say go to Playa La Piscina. But if you want to go for an adventure, I would say head to Cabo San Juan. We just made it back with the horses. My horse was a bit of an alpha female, kept biting Katya's horse to make sure she was in front. He wouldn't let me in front and my horse kept wanting to go in front. And then she kept going slow too, so she was holding up everyone. Yo! But we made it back, it was a really fun experience. Now we're on to the next place. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe because it really means a lot. And please like because it will really help me out. And I'll see you again in the next one.